all events that occur in the lead up to fertilization is grouped under pre-fertilization events. These events basically consist of the formation of gametes and this is known as gametogenesis. Break up the word, genesis means birth, so gametogenesis means gamete birth. Apart from gamete formation, the pre-fertilization events consist of gamete transfer as well, where one or both gametes can be moved or transferred to a location which is better suited for fertilization to take place. Let us first understand gametogenesis. Gametes, as you know, are haploid germ cells that contain only one set of chromosomes and we represent that by N. Diploid organisms contain two sets of chromosomes and is represented as 2N. In the most common scenario, diploid organisms produce haploid gametes through meiosis, which then fuse to form diploid zygote from which a diploid organism develops. However, in some organisms, we see alternation of generation, where a particular organism lives as a haploid entity. Remember the gametophytes from our previous discussion and produces haploid gametes through mitosis. These haploid gametes form zygote through fertilization to give rise to a diploid counterpart, the sporophyte. However, the usual scenario is what you see in this table here. This shows the number of chromosomes in the gametes, that is sperm and egg, and the chromosomes in the somatic cells. No great maths here. One shows N, while the next column shows 2N. The gametes produced by the organism can be of two types. We spoke about heterogametes when we spoke about how the male and the female thing happened. The male produces the small motile gamete called sperm. There is a more generalized name for a sperm. We call it the anthrazoid. The female produces the bigger non-motile gamete called the egg. Another name, ovum. However, in case of some algae and fungi, the gametes produced are morphologically identical, called homogametes or isogametes. And the process is called isogamy. For example, Eulothrix and Cladophora. Here, the sexual reproduction takes place between two different mating types, that is, two strains of the organism differing in some genes but have no distinct chromosomal differences. The mating types are generally denoted as plus and minus. Gamete transfer is the second part of the pre-fertilization events, where the gametes formed in the male and the female organism is transferred to a location where the fertilization can take place. Usually, the male gametes are motile and swim to a stationary bigger female gamete for fertilization. How the gamete transfer is accomplished depends on many factors, the physiology, the habitat and the reproductive behavior of the organism. Typically, the motile male gametes, that is the sperms, are transferred directly into the body of the female organism where the fertilization can take place. And to ensure the chances of the small male gametes finding the female gametes, they are produced in numbers several million times than that of the female gametes. But as always, there are many exceptions to the process of gamete transfer. Because it is not necessary that sperms are motile and eggs are non-motile. In some fungi and algae, both male and female gametes are motile and move usually through water. While bryophytes and pteridophytes have motile male gametes and non-motile female gametes, the male gametes swim through water to reach the egg. Whereas in angiosperms, both male and female gametes are non-motile. Pollen grains are carriers of male gametes and ovules have the egg. Pollen grains produced in anthers have to be transferred to the stigma before it can lead to fertilization. This transfer in angiosperms is called pollination. Anyway, we will learn in detail about pollination when we talk about reproduction in plants. 